All right, Todd, we're gonna try to do this in about 15 minutes, all right? Thanks for joining us. I wanna start by saying that we do have a free 15-day trial. The 15-day trial, if you go to our website, there is a green button on the home page. Click that, it's a get started button, and we will process your order. You do not have to put your credit card in. It's the full version. You can transfer film over, or if you want us to do that for you, we can transfer film over into Quick Cut for you. The pricing for the platform is $300. That gives you 75 hours of storage, and you can buy as much storage as you want. We don't gouge you on storage. It's $100 for 100 hours of uh, storage. So a little cost comparison, you can get 175 hours with us and it's still cheaper than the competition. I'm gonna go into the first question or the biggest question that is asked of us and that's how do you exchange film with Huddle? If you've got uh, uh, upcoming opponents, um, people in your county, in your district that you wanna exchange film with, we're gonna do it through email they're going to download a game from Huddle. It's gonna to come to their email as a link and they're gonna forward that email to you. You're gonna do the same. You're gonna download the game from Quick Cut and I'll show you how easy that is. Open up a game here and this little download icon will pop up and I'll click download, boom. It'll come to my email in about a minute, minute and a half. And I will simply forward that email onto them. We do have an exchange system set up right here, this blue button, exchanging video. So I click on new exchange. I have a choice between a one-way, two-way, or request video. If I do request video from a Huddle user, I can come down here, request from a Huddle user, type in their email, the game I'm looking for, the date, and any notes, and I'll hit submit. Once they get that email, they'll get step-by-step -step instructions on how to download that game and then forward it to you. When you create a game in Quick Cut by clicking this green button, you're going to have three folders. You're going to have your game footage folder, your scout folder, and then your practice video folder. And you'll, if you are saving reports, they will fall under here. If you're saving playlists, they will also fall under here. So I've got a game down here with two playlists and then you can save reports as well. I'm gonna go into the user interface. Uh, once again, my name's Todd, if you came in a little bit late. Um, feel free to ask questions as we go through and I'll stop, or you can use the chat room. Uh, Todd Webb is monitoring the chat room and we can answer your questions immediately. Todd, if you wouldn't mind putting your uh, contact information in the chat room for everybody, um, you'll be able to uh, either reach out to Todd or myself and uh, we'll answer your questions. Um, and, and uh, uh, be able to help you out with just about anything that deals with the basketball platform. So I'm gonna launch the user interface. And you will see here up on the right-hand side, our stats are color-coded. So the defensive stats are in orange, offensive stats are in blue, shot chart will be in red and green, which is also located down here in the game. I can switch team's stats by clicking on the other team. And I have all of the same functionality as I, I, um, I've had in the past with other platforms, being able to move forward, uh, fast forward, frame by frame, jumping it back 10 or five seconds, moving it forward five and 10 seconds. And then I have all my telestration here. And one thing that we did keep in here is the chat box or not, chat, you can add text in the video. So if you're gonna use those as teaching moments, you have the ability to add that text box in the game video and in playlists. And then also over here, you have the ability to slow your video down or speed it up. We do keep track of uh, game time uh, for each of your athletes. That's located in these two green buttons here. I'm gonna hit the mute button if uh, you don't mind. And so I click one of these buttons and I can put the jersey names. If I've got a roster and it'll put their names in here and then I can add anybody that I want to add on the fly if I need to. We do offer a stat breakdown um, for you. 
we, uh, the, the cost of that title will go over here shortly as we, he goes over the stats and the differences between us and Huddle. Um, so Todd, you want to take it away? And I got to unmute you, I think. No, I got it. Okay. <clears throat> um, well, first off, uh, I'm sure most of you have been Huddle Assist users in the past, and that's probably why you're taking a look at Quick Cut. Um, first off, rest assured, you're, you're not going to lose anything you have with Huddle Assist by switching. Uh, we offer everything you get with Huddle Assist, uh, plus a little bit more. Um, so just quickly, the differences between us and Huddle Assist. Um, the first thing is um, the efficiency rating that we use to track. Um, we use a more traditional efficiency rating that's used uh, with the MBA colleges. Um, if you're familiar with Breakthrough Stats, um, their iPad app, the same one that's used on that one as well, and I've used that app for years uh, to stack games live. Um, <clears throat> but if a player's had a great game, that, that rating is going to be somewhere in the 20s and 30s. If they've had a bad game, it might it could be as low as the negatives. And it just gives you a wide disparity uh, when you're looking at how efficient someone's played in that particular game. Uh, I know with Huddle's VPS rating, there's not a lot of disparity. Um, so that's one reason why I feel like the efficiency rating is so much better. Um, true shooting percentage is another one um, that we offer that Huddle does not. Uh, if you're familiar with effective field goal percentage, where made three-pointers are weighed more heavily than made twos because of the point differential, um, true shooting percentage takes that a step further because something that's missing from effective field goal percentage when looking at how productive someone is offensively, it's missing the ability for someone to get to the free throw line and convert. True shooting percentage takes care of that. True shooting percentage takes effective field goal percentage and then figures in how often the player gets to the line and how often they convert when they get there. Um, <clears throat> that way you get a true, um, a true evaluation of who your most efficient scorer is. Um, so that can help you make some personnel decisions. And then speaking of personnel decisions, we offer rate stats as well. Um, in addition to true shooting percentage, this is something that as a coach I always had to do myself. Um, using the Excel spreadsheet, I would get my report from Huddle, and then I would have to break down all these different stats just to get them. This is this is something that we're going to offer you guys, um, you know, with our stat packages if you choose to purchase one. And if you want to tag the games yourself, you'll still have access to all this stuff. Um, but rate stats, we're going to figure it up per minute how productive your players were. Every every major stat, scoring, rebounds, deflections, steals, all that broken down per minute. That way you can do a great comparison between someone who played maybe 10 minutes that game and someone that played 20 or 25 minutes because it's breaking it down per minute. When looking at the totals, you really couldn't make much of a personnel decision. So that can help you figure out, you know, who needs more time, who might need less time. Um, <clears throat> speaking of pricing, our two most popular stat packages that we offer are our 40-game package and our 75-game package. Our 40 game package is at $900. Um, our 75 game package is $1,600. If you don't need that much, uh, that many games broken down, we can absolutely customize it for a size smaller than 40. If you're just wanting your games, you don't want any opponent scout videos or anything like that, just tell us how many games you could potentially play in your season and we can custom make a package that'll save you some money in the long run. Um, but as far as the 40 and the 75, how you use those games is totally up to you. If you want to use your games and just a handful of scout games, that's fine. If you want to use it for all scout games because you have an assistant coach that wants to tag your games uh, yourself, that's fine too. It's however you choose to use those stat breakdowns. Um, and with that being said, I'll turn it back over to Todd. All right, I'm going to go over to stats and let you talk a little bit about the stats. Oh, that's right. Let's show him the shot charts. Um, so he's getting ready to pull up a stat report uh, from a game last season. Um, <clears throat> when we select all the players here, it'll populate. All right, so what you're seeing here on the left, you'll see that little bar at the bottom that he can use to scroll. Uh, that'll show you everything that we're tracking. The efficiency ratings right there at the beginning, you can see that. All the um, the shooting stats are right here in the beginning. Um, you've also got these boxes up here if you just want to look at a particular 
set of stats, you can do that as well. Um, but you can look at it as a whole if you want to as well. If you got that all stats box clicked and you can scroll through, you'll see um, steal rate, you know, free throws made, free throws attempted. Everything that we track is right there for you. And then here on the right, the shot charts. Uh, the generic individual shot chart that you see right here uh, has different numbers on it. That's, that's who took that shot. Um, the greens are the makes, the reds are the misses. Uh, but where you really get into the, to the meat of what you get out of the shot charts when you start looking at the different zones, um, if we're looking at by just straight up field goal percentage, how well you shot from that particular zone, um, the ones that are lighting up red are obviously the ones that are your hot zones where you're shooting a, a good percentage. The blue, you know, is your cold zones where you're maybe not shooting such a great percentage. Uh, the next, next one right here, attempt percentage, that is, you know, where your shot's coming from. Um, you know, the red zones are where you're taking the majority of your shots. I find this really effective if you're, uh, when you're scouting an opponent. Um, you can tell where they like to take their shots. And, you know, maybe that's an area of the floor that you can kind of design your defense to keep them out of, to keep, uh, keep them from getting shots in that particular area. Uh, and then points per shot. Um, and this one's just telling you where you're most efficient scoring. Um, not just, you know, looking at percentages, but looking at how, what, what point value per shot attempt from that area that you're getting. And with any of these shot charts and any of our stats over here, you'll be able to click on it. Um, so if Todd clicks on the left wing right here, we had eight shots from that particular area. It'll populate a playlist for you where you can see all those different shot attempts. Um, but that's the gist of everything that you can do with the stat reports. Um, and I'll turn it back over. All right. I'm going to go back, just show you a couple other things, creating cut-ups playlists. We have the ability to do a quick capture. So wherever the playhead is in the game, you hit quick capture, it's gonna give you three and a half seconds before three and a half seconds afterwards. I'll just do one real quick. So you'll notice that I've got these little toggles here. So if seven inches didn't really cover what I wanted to cover, I can move it, lengthen it, shorten it, I can do whatever I want. Once I've got this clip exactly where I want it in the time frame, I can go down here to save and I can save it as a playlist, add it to a new playlist, or add it to an existing playlist. So if I want to go over several different games and I want to find uh, maybe the three pointers of uh, their best player, um, I can go and create a playlist, a cut up of just that player um, and add to that playlist over multitude of games. So if I don't want that one, I'll hit clear. Another way of creating a cut up is maybe I want an entire offensive series, which is going to be much longer than seven seconds, hopefully. Um, I can hit a start, start capture button here and then run it until I need to, and then I'll hit stop capture, and then I'll have the ability to save that to a playlist, create a highlight with it. Filtering on um, any of these stats, if you want to zero in on any part of the game or any part of an individual's game, I can click a jersey number. You'll notice right here that I have 210 stats of Brookwood School. So if I want to filter on their, their rebounding, now I've got 38 stats. I click that little arrow and I can create a playlist with that or I can create a highlight with that. And that way I can be a whole lot more efficient with my video time by sending out certain parts of the game that maybe we need to work on or maybe that what we did well um, over a period of games. So I'm going to jump now into the basics and that's into the My Team tab. You'll notice in the My Team tab, this is where I'm gonna add my roster. This is where I'll add my uh, coaches. We have a messaging tool where you can message individual athletes or you can manage groups and create an all team group and message the entire team. It will immediately notify them on their app. Um, and so it's even better than text, mess <coughs> text messaging. Um, so if you need to get a quick message out to your team, great way to do that. If there's a particular stat that you keep track of that isn't in our default list, we have this category here called uh, breakdown data where you'll see all of our stat categories as defaults. You want to create your own. Boom, I hit it right here. Uh, one popular stat that isn't in our system is, is uh, that assist that didn't get converted. So if you've got an athlete that's feeding a lot of your athletes, but they can't convert, um, you may want to keep track of that stat, create that stat here, and then um, 
go through your games and add that stat as necessary. The next item here is a media library. So I wanted athletes to be able to have access to all of their media in one location. Oftentimes a bunch of pictures are taken by a parent or maybe even a student and the athletes never get access to those photos. You as a coach can give access to that photographer, whether it's a parent or whether it's a student or even a professional, and they can upload all of those photos for the game that uh, Friday night. And then your athletes can go in and tag themselves in those photos. They can even use them in their highlights. Um, we also give them the opportunity that after they graduate, um, they can go back and uh, um, uh, keep having access to those uh, photos, to the uh, game footage, and to the highlights. Going to jump into the My Fans tab. We built into the My Fans tab the ability for you to stream your games or upload live your games using our mobile app. So with a newer phone um, or a tablet, you're able to upload live your games and sell access to parents, grandparents, and any fans that want to follow you uh, this COVID season. Um, so if they're not letting fans into the gym, this would be something you'd want to take a closer look at. Um, you have complete transparency. Tickets are sold for $8 a game, or you can buy a season pass if you have that regular season. Um, we, it's $75 um, is the minimum. That's usually 20, 25 games. Uh, cheaper to, uh, to, to watch it online than it is to go to the games. Um, and so you'll get to see this number grow. And as that number grows, you call us up and say, hey, send us that $10,000 that's uh, now in the account. And uh, we'll take care of that. We can do, you know, two, three times during the season, we can send you whatever money's in that account. So that's my fans tab. I'm gonna jump over to the highlights. Second most asked question is, uh, can my athletes build highlights? And the answer is yes. So you get access to all of your games. And as you load those games up, you can grab cutups of any clip of any part of the game you want. You can add slow motion, you can highlight yourself, and then you'll arrange the clips down here at the bottom of the screen. And we give you a max amount of time, and that's three minutes per highlight. The kids can build as many highlights as they want but we try to tell them that most people stop watching after about one and a half, two minutes um, based on the YouTube um, uh, analytics. So um, they build their highlight. When they're done building their highlight, they're gonna hit this build highlight button and it's gonna send them a link to their email address where you as a coach will have access to that. And the kids also can forward that link on to college coaches when they, if they wanna get to the next level. That's the tour. Um, does anybody have any questions? Well, I appreciate you taking time out of your schedules. Go ahead. Uh, this is Joe Smith. I'm the uh, coach at Dominion High School. Um, we were huddle users. Um, uh, right now, uh, we are uh, planning a return to play, uh, and we've started practicing. Uh, but still don't know, you know, what's going to happen as far as the school board deciding to let us play. Mm -hmm. um, what happens if if our season doesn't materialize? So if you bought the platform and moved games over from a previous or several seasons, um, we're going to give you a 50% discount for next year. If you paid for stats, we're going to give you 100% uh, refund on those stats, less the credit card if you paid with the credit card. Makes sense? Yes, sir. Thanks. Okay. Any other questions? I appreciate you taking time out of your schedules to jump on and, and uh, listen to what we have. We're pretty excited about what we have here, and we think we can save you money and give you a, a superior product. Um, our goal is to be the best in the market, and uh, we feel that with all of our upgrades that we've put in here the last several weeks is that, that uh, you'll agree with us that we've got the best platform in the industry. Thanks again for your time. Check out our free 15-day uh, trial, and hopefully we'll get a chance to talk to you soon.